founder and CEO of Vitriflex. And um, Vitriflex is uh, developing an important technology that is an enabler for some amazing new products that are coming to the marketplace. Green button for my slides. Excellent, thank you. Isn't technology great? So we're developing transparent, flexible barrier films that are used in printed electronics. And this is an important technology. Um, it's a, a novel uh, platform that enables the encapsulation of flexible devices, and it enables the next wave of large area devices uh, that include several of the products you see in three major markets that are shown here, including quantum dot films for quantum dot TVs, flexible OLED lighting, and flexible OLED display. These are all large, rapidly growing uh, uh, consumer electronic uh, product markets. Collectively, those products in the marketplace represent over $100 billion of products in the next three to five years. Encapsulation tends to represent um, a, a few percent, two, three percent of the spend of the bill of materials on these types of products. So the market TAM that our products serve is expected to be a billion dollar TAM by 2020. And so the key theme here, our vision of the future, is that the future is flexible. And what we offer to the marketplace is the ability to replace the glass that's currently used as an encapsulation with polymer-based um, encapsulation. And so that enables products that currently have um, rigid uh, properties, rigid screens, to become lightweight, flexible, um, and um, un they become lightweight and flexible and unbreakable. So these are key properties. Also, you can make encapsulation that is thinner than glass. Um, and a key feature of our uh, encapsulation also is transparency. So there's lots of ways to make a, an opaque barrier, a non-transparent barrier using a metal foil, but what's really hard is making a transparent barrier film, and that's the technology that we have developed. And the advantages for the customer, uh, primarily, are we enable revolutionary new product designs with new functionality that can't be achieved with glass, and then on the manufacturing side, we enable flexible manufacturing, including roll-to-roll -roll processes that lower the cost and through elasticity enlarge the marketplace. So um, why is barrier film important? Well, in the field of printed electronics, there are a lot of novel materials such as quantum dots and OLEDs and graphene and all these exotic materials that have some great properties that enable new functionality, but uh, they're very sensitive to moisture and oxygen. So they degrade if they're exposed. They have to be hermetically sealed before the product can be shipped. And the solution in the past has been glass, but glass has some disadvantages. It's rigid, it's heavy, and it's breakable. And those are the uh, issues that have prevented some of these more advanced products, um, such as Quantum Dot TV, which uses uh, a layer of quantum dots in the uh, backlight assembly, a foldable display, or curved and lightweight energy efficient OLED lighting from coming to the marketplace. Flexible encapsulation has been a, is a long sought technology that's been the missing link for many, many years. It's been in the technology roadmap for a lot of companies developing these types of products. And Vitriflex has a novel solution uh, to the problem. Uh, who's interested in these products? Well, many, many large uh, companies located in every geography in North America, in Europe, and in Asia. Uh, for example, Samsung, uh, you know, a world leader in OLED display technology, um, has been working for a, um, a long time on bringing flexible OLED uh, to the marketplace. It's widely rumored that their first foldable OLED cell phone is going to be released early next year, perhaps January or February, so we're all going to be watching consumer electronics very closely. Their strategy for their uh, phones and tablets and other devices has been to go from rigid planar devices to bended devices. You may have seen the uh, Galaxy Edge Note that has a curved display that rolls over the edge, going to rollable devices like TVs that would roll up like the old projector screens, and then eventually foldable. The most difficult challenge is the foldable phone, and that's expected to be first commercialized within the next three to six months. Um, for the Quantum Dot application, you know, quantum dots are enabling a revolution in the TV space. So it's been long expected that OLED TV would supersede LCD and LCD would fall by the wayside, but LCD is fighting back with the introduction of quantum dots that enable um, higher uh, color gamut and higher dynamic range. And so these uh, televisions are now in the market today. Uh, they're being sold by, um, well, let's see, the, the quantum dot films are being produced by 3M, materials for quantum dots being produced by Dow, uh, TVs that are being sold by Samsung, TCL, Hisense. These are all products that are in the marketplace today. 
And uh, Vitriflex is engaged with about half of the companies that you see listed here. We have samples that are in for qualification, and we're in pilot mode today. We expect to be entering a manufacturing ramp in the middle of 2016. Out of time? Uh, so uh, let me just one, one last uh, demonstration here to show you what a barrier film really looks like. And uh, the slide shows you how we make it. But essentially, we take um, oxide materials, we'll deposit them on a transparent, flexible film. And if you get the process conditions right, instead of being reflective, everything will be transparent, lightweight, and unbreakable. And this becomes the replacement for glass in the future electronic devices. OK. Thank you very much. And I want to thank. Uh, Thank you, Motowala, our board member, and Draper Nexus for great support over the last four and a half years. Thank you. Questions? Thank you.